For most of us, if we've farmed any length of time at all, we are faced with a down corn scenario. And my heart goes out all across the Midwest where this week severe storms took down lots and lots of acres. And as corn is far enough along that it's laying flat, we're gonna have a challenge of a harvest. But speaking of down corn, I get a lot of questions from growers that are using our yield saver brushes. What do they do in that case with down corn? Does the brush help? Is it something they should take off? And unfortunately, I've had quite a bit of firsthand experience. In the last two years, we've had some pretty severe down corn. What I found in my own personal experience is the brush can enhance the performance of the corn head. In our case, it was a tall hybrid. And we picked one way and we brought the tassels into us. The corn was leaning into our head. And so with the automated GPS and RTK and the automatic down control, we were able to keep those heads right on the ground. When I think about how the yield saver blocks actually mount on to the gathering chains, we've enhanced the ability for that gathering chain now another inch and a half, just like a crop lug, to reach out and keep that crop flowing and moving into the combine and those severe down corn cases. So the brush blocks were running right in the dirt. It will increase wear when you're running them in the dirt for three to four days continuous but we found it to be quite an advantage. And I definitely felt we kept more corn in the tank compared to shelling out in the head when you're bringing ears directly into the snapping rolls. So in our case, the brushes seem to be an enhancement. I just wish for each and every one of you safety. First of all, I would stay very timely. Our experience has been on the down corn that we've had over the years. Time is not our friend. The longer it goes, the more decay we get at the bottom of that stock where it meets the ground where it's tipped over and it isn't long and that's going to come loose and now we have nothing but a 12 row bunch rake. So yes, we take corn out at 28, 27 percent when it's down. There's a little extra drying cost, but if you can keep running even at a mile to a mile and a half, that's sure better than getting out and throwing corn over the side. So as disappointing as it is today to look across our fields and see this down corn, we realize that we're going to get it done. Sure, we'll be a little bit slower, but the American farmer always wins in the end by figuring out a good way to get that crop in the tank.